Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Welcome back to Crocoblock channel. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a user appointment table with a dynamic table builder module. I will be using MetaCenter template for this tutorial. So let's uh, make an appointment with this doctor. So let's just quickly fill the form here. So after somebody made an appointment, so go to appointment here, appointments, and you will see all the appointments here on the back end. So this is just a new one uh, that I created. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to display this table on the front end page. So using custom query and Jet Engine dynamic table builder module. So let's get started. First, we have to create a custom query. It is always a good idea to start with custom query. Okay, so before I do that, I, let me show you something here. So this is an appointment from the back end. So as a default, uh, you see this table. Now, so we're gonna create a query and then uh, display this on the front end. So this is actually coming from the SQL. Now, so I have uh, this SQL buddy plugin to just to see uh, the database table here. Okay, so the appointment uh, is this WP Jet appointment. Okay, so I got the six records here, right? So let's click that. So now as you can see the status and the service providers and the email and the slot. That slot is the appointment time, starting time and end time, right? and then uh, the name and phone number and appointment date, okay? So uh, we see all the information. So let's go back here. Let's go to uh, Jet Engine and go to Query Builder. And then, so we're gonna create add a new, new query. So uh, we're gonna just uh, type name. So you can put uh, any name you like. And here, query type, uh, we're gonna be choosing SQL query. And then SQL query, and from table, uh, remember that, uh, to show you the table here. So you wanna pick WP Jet Engine appointments. So if you go back to customer query, and then so you're gonna be looking for here, Jet appointments. So this is what you want, okay? And the next one is, I would like to create an order so add a new sorting parameter because I like to put the information on the table from the by date, from, from the latest to the oldest. So uh, order by uh, date, okay? And the order is going to highest to lowest value, okay? And type should be, you're gonna pick numeric, right? And I'm gonna add another parameter here so it's going to be order by next the time slot so uh so we have this one so the slot okay and then now order by gonna be lowest um to highest value and type uh, should be numeric okay and next one is so we're gonna the show per page limit so this is like how many rows you want to show on the table uh so let's say i'm gonna just pick 20 but uh it's up to you and then uh, the last one is uh, here, cast result, the instance of objects. So just to use a keep std class. And then go hit the add query. So then the next step is, so we are going to create a table. So by the way, you need a dynamic table builder here. So go to Jet Engine and then right here. So this is part of uh, Jet Engine plugin make sure you have this dynamic table builder is enabled, okay? And then also we have Jet Engine here and the bottom here, you see the table builder, okay? Click this and let, let's make a new one. And then just uh, name uh, the table. 
and the data query. So remember that. So we just created appointment booking query. Okay. And then next, uh, let's uh, go to columns. So we're going to add a new column here. The new column, uh, it's going to be, I'm going to put the service. And uh, so let's kind of take a look at the uh, SQL. So that's jet appointments. And then here is the service column here. Okay. So let's uh, go back here. And then, so I'm going to just uh, type service and the column content is going to be row value and then data source is going to be fetch the column and then select the column uh, so i'm looking for service right here and then filter column output turn this on and filter callback so i'm looking for uh, the get post page title okay pick this so this is custom post type. So take a quick look here. Um, so these are title for the post type, right? The custom post type. So that's why I have to set that way. So let's go back and get post page title. All right. So the next one is um, the doctor. It says provider. So but those are doctors, okay? And then so create a new column. So I'm going to call it to doctor, okay? And then column content is going to be row value. And then data source is going to be fetched column. And then select column, it's going to be a provider. Okay. And then same thing. So a filter um, column output, it's going to be get post page title. And then, so let's move on. So next one is, um, let's see, I'm going to put the date here. Okay. So I'm going to call it to date and then it's going to be row value again and data source fetch the column and then select the column it's going to be a date here so this is an appointment date and then filter column output turn this on and then so we're going to be looking for a format date legacy here okay so in this case, I don't think you need any format here. So the next one is, I'm gonna call appointment the starting time. So I'm gonna just call it to uh, start. And then here, it's gonna call, um, sorry, pick a row value. And then data source, uh, we're gonna put um, fetched column again. And then uh, filter column output. So we're gonna be picking a slot. So that's appointment the starting time and then filter column output. So we're gonna be picking a format date legacy, the same thing. And then, so we're gonna pick format here. So I'm gonna just click here. So we can pick, um, uh, you know, put a different format like this, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, use this kind of 9.18 kind of PM here. So I'm gonna use this format. So it's going to be, so I'm gonna just put uh, G column G I A. So this format. So what you can see something like so 9:30 a.m. So this is the format I want. Okay. And then uh, let's create a new column again. So now I'm going to show this end time. Okay. So hit new column, and then I'm going to call it two. And so it's going to be row value here. And then data source, it's going to be fetched column. And then select column. So I'm looking for slot end. Okay. And then uh, filter column outfit, it's going to be format date legacy. And then I'm going to just use the same thing. Just copy this. Now the next ones are, I like the display. Uh, let's go back to. SQL table, uh, the patient name, and then their phone numbers. So hit new column here, and then I'm going to just call it to a name, and then column content is going to be, I'm going to pick a row value here, and then data source, it's going to be fetch the column, and then select the column. Uh, we are looking for this, the name, Ganda square name. All right, so the next one is phone number. So I'm gonna just use phone. 
and the column content is going to be row value again and select the source fetch the column and then select the column i think there's a phone here underscore phone right here and i think that's all set so we just uh, hit create table all right so let's uh take a reload preview here so you can see a service doctor date um start and time and the patient name and phone number here all right so the next step is so let's create a page for appointment list table so let's go to add new okay so appointment uh, list table uh let's go hit publish and then edit with Elementor. All right, so we are looking for dynamic table. So this one, dynamic table. So let's move this over to into the content. Okay, uh, let's go add the headings here too. Give some margin. And then here is dynamic table. And then let's select the table. Uh, we create a table, it's called appointment list. And then should appear here, all right. Uh, let's style a bit. So go to style, uh, go to header, but change the background color to match some blue here. I'm gonna use this blue, okay. And then, so change the uh, text color too. Uh, is white here okay so the rest seems to be okay uh, but i'm gonna just move this text onto the left side so i'm gonna just uh, change alignment here okay and i think if you want to uh, you can change to uh, you know different text style as well uh, right something like that okay so i give some space on the top uh, Give some padding or margin here. All right, so let's go to take a look at the page. Okay, so it looks good. Now let's try this. So I'm gonna just have to move this back. And let's see, let's try again. So I'm going to uh, make an appointment. So I'm gonna just uh, move this side by side. So let's make an appointment. And then select uh, sports medicine, and then check 28th of April, and then 10 o'clock. Right, so I'll hit go next, and the contact name, phone number. Okay, and then so I want to use my email address, and I hit next, and it will confirm. Right, hit OK. Okay, so let's uh, refresh this page. All right, here we go. And then, so uh, yeah, that's the latest appointment I just made. It's here, all right? That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful. And please subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.